I'm gonna show you a few ways you can make the Instrument One adapt to your guitar playing style. Number one, sensitivity sliders. I'm opening up the Artifon Instrument One editor. If you're using the iOS app, it's essentially the same thing. And there are two sensitivity sliders, method sensitivity, which affects how much velocity you're outputting, and hammer-on sensitivity, which is the one I want to look at. It defaults to medium. If I put it on low and I tap the fingerboard, I don't get any notes at all. If I put it all the way up to very high, I can tap and actuate the notes without strumming the bridge at all. So I put mine on high, and that works well for my playing. But everybody has a slightly different touch, and I recommend just spending a moment in here figuring out if you're a low, a medium, or a high hammer on her. Number two, strum versus tap. If I choose fretted strum, the instrument one plays like a guitar. I strum down here on the bridge to actuate the notes. But I find that for melodies or a big subby bass line, I can put it in a tap mode, not use the bridge at all, and have an easier time playing my melodies. Number three, strings versus grid. When I'm in a string mode, the highest note on the string is the one that will sound. And that's great for more of a guitar-like feel. But with the instrument one, we can switch to a grid mode and completely defy the laws of physics. Now I can do multiple notes on a string. If you wanted to do a 10 finger chord, this is the way to do it. Number four, fretted versus fretless. When I'm in a fretted mode, I like to keep my finger in the middle of the fret. If I go too close to the line, I may accidentally actuate the next note up. Now if I'm in a fretless mode, I'll place my finger right on the line. Think of this as a steel guitar. Number five, muting. Muting is so easy, we decided to call it easy mute. All you need to do is lift your fingers from the fingerboard. six, tunings. I grew up playing the banjo, so for me, being able to switch to an open G tuning is everything. Let's say I have a tuning that I love, and I simply want to transpose it a key or two. I can do that with the onboard capo buttons. If you don't see a tuning you want, you can simply select any of these notes and change it. So let's go back to a standard tuning. And I'm just gonna make this one drop D. Play around with string bending. It's a great way to add some expressiveness to your playing. It's down here in the editor, and it defaults to off. So I'll flip it on and choose a fun sound like this electric guitar in Logic. Notice how inward pressure affects the pitch of the note. Thanks for watching, and happy playing.